And we're back and this time I'm going to show you how to create a flower icon in Adobe Illustrator. Let us start on a view with the smart guides and snip the board when I activate it and I use the ellipse tool holding shift, I create a circle. Let me swap the color so that we've got a fill and a stroke. And I'll drag a copy out of it with the select tool holding alt. The overlap is what we're interested in. Use the shape of the tool and hold alt to get rid of the rest. Drag a copy out of it once more, holding Alt with the selection tool. And now we rotate that. The first one, 120. Let me delete the other one. And this one should be minus 120. And once again, I delete the other one. We don't need that. So these should be the leaves. And now I'll use the ellipse tool again. Hold Shift to create a circle. Swap the color so that we've got a stroke and no fill. Then Ctrl C, Ctrl B to copy and paste them back. When you resize that, hold Shift and Alt. I'll select both and resize them, holding Shift and Alt. Maybe that's a good size. We're going to readjust it anywhere later on. Again, we need the ellipse tool, create a small circle. Drag it upwards. Let me press Ctrl Y to switch to the outline mode and you can see this is the crucial point. So we want to have it fit so that both these lines are at the same position. When we size that, always hold Shift. That way you can keep it at the bottom position. Now maybe a little bit bigger. Maybe something like this. Now we need the rotate tool, press R for that. Go to the center position of the circle, hold Alt and F click. We want to have eight copies, so use 360 divided by eight. Not 380, 360 divided by eight. And then copy. Press Ctrl D afterwards until you've got it fully filled. But we need to reposition the leaves. Let me select them and I use the arrow keys. Select it all, get rid of the stroke, add a fill. Select the top portion, use the shape builder to hold alt and get rid of the center. We can now connect all of the other shapes. Just release Alt for that. And that's fine, but maybe it's a little bit too big. I'll hold Shift and Alt and I resize that. When you don't like the angle of the leaves, you can still readjust them. Let me try a different angle just to see what it looks like. Maybe 150. So the other one then needs to be minus 150. But I would say this is too much. So let me go down to 130. Any other one, minus 130. I'll hold control when I connect these anchor points of the leaves. And that's it. This is how you can create such a flower icon in Adobe Illustrator. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.